Yo, what's up guys? It's Yellowfin, and I am going to be playing the Silver Screen 2 Challenge. So we're starting right in with the gameplay because I had Wi-Fi issues, so it didn't really... I got stuck in like a 60 second long loading screen, and it didn't really work out very well. But here we are, this is round 11. I skipped the first 10 rounds because I basically had to upgrade cars for every single round. So, I just skipped that part. I didn't record any of that part. But here is the final 10 rounds of the second silver screen challenge to then get the carbon fiber. That was round 1, done pretty easily. But we are going to be playing through all these rounds and seeing how well we can do. So far, my silver screen um, just journey pretty much hasn't been too bad. It's been kind of fun. I've just upgraded a bunch of random cars that I haven't really thought of upgrading, like the Buick LaCrosse, that Volvo, um, the Pontiac Fiero, and the Audi Quattro, uh, most of which I had besides the Volvo 960. I did not have that previously in my garage, but uh, still, I, it's just given me an excuse to upgrade a bunch of cars, which is what um, I like about Collection Series, is it allows me to just upgrade a bunch of random cars. And so... Yeah, that Buick LaCrosse though is actually a very useful one. I actually used it in clubs today as well. Just like outside of the challenge. So yeah. And the Audi Quattro is getting some use as well. The Pontiac Fiero is definitely a key one. Just because of the good handling it has. And they do not really seem to want to give us a lot of drag track sets. With a lot of the silver screen cars being dragsters. So really those high handling cars are going to be key. And here we do have... Um, here I am using a dragster, but it's also on a twisty circuit. Like, they do not want to give us any stuff where we can use our fast cars, which is luckily why I was also lucky with having the Jaguar XJS, which I think I had from a Jaguar challenge when there was that Jaguar Times 5 final. And so I had the Jaguar XJS then for that, which was perfect, because it's actually been pretty useful in this challenge since it has the rear wheel drive standard tires, and the rear wheel drive is a bit of an advantage compared to the front wheel drive cars. So it pretty much beats the Buick Park Avenue everywhere, which I don't head the Buick Park Avenue, which then definitely helps out a lot. And then the Pontiac Fiero will get the win here against the 332 Pontiac Fiero. And then the Lacrosse will win here against the Park Avenue, which is good because I don't have a Park Avenue. So that could have been a bit of an issue. But also, I used to have a Pontiac Fiero as well, but I had it max 233, and that was a while ago. That's because I was like, well, I'm going to just use it for twisty stuff anyway, so I might as well 2 through 3 it. And that's also when I didn't really know much about the tuning stuff and the, mecha the mechanics of the tuning. So I decided to 2 through 3 my Pontiac Fiero so it would be a bit more twisty. I don't have that car anymore. I sold it a long time ago. But that was kind of funny how I decided to 2 through 3 tune it just because I thought it would be a I'd be using it a bit more on the twisty. Well, you don't really want to 2 through 3 your uncommons because it just makes them worse. As you can see, our 3 2 3 beat the 2 through 3 right there. And I'm also, I actually do have the LeSabre though. That's interesting though, I'd only get 6179, how it has 79 handling, while the Park Avenue and the LaCrosse both have much higher handling in the 85s. And the 86 as well with the LaCrosse, yeah, it has 86. But I just have that one stock anyway. I haven't had a use for it, and I don't think it would be too useful anyway because it has 79 handling. It does have some good 0 to 60 though, so maybe it'll be key in a future round, but I don't know. So let's continue on through this round now. The Audi Quattro has now been maxed out. I just had to put the upgrades into it. And then the Cadillac CTS also is maxed out as well. It just needs the final upgrades. It's at 323, but just doesn't have the final upgrades to make it maxed out. It's at 15 out of 24 with all three fuses put in. The Charger RT1 there, that could have been a bit of an issue because that Dodge D100 has standard tires and on zero to 100 to zero, sometimes standard tires can be pretty good. Luckily, though, it wasn't much of an issue. Then we had to go a bit lower with this time. Uh, the RQ was lowered on us, so we're just switching it up. And luckily, the Pontiac Fiero can also beat the Lotus 7, because the Lotus 7, they have tuned at 323. So it's just Slalom Specs going to win anyway. But luckily, the Pontiac Fiero can win. It's very close, though, only by 0 0.25 second difference. And then the Lacrosse will win here. And then on our last one, or no, actually we got two more races. The Cadillac CTS though wins here against the Dodge Magnum SRT8, which is good. Still don't need to put those upgrades into it yet. And the Audi Quattro will beat the AMC Javelin AMX. It's very close, but the Quattro does end up winning. And so yeah, there we go. Round 17 now. This was a bit of an interesting one. It just took me a bit of, a bit of trying to figure out, but it wasn't too bad. I was able to figure it out in the end. And we were able to make a working hand. Actually being able to use an ultra rare as well right now. I haven't really been able to use any of my ultra rares. And that's what I have a lot of strong cars in. Round 18 was definitely a tricky one. 
I had to actually go to KT Play to figure out how to win this one, but turns out I didn't even think about it, but the lacrosse could beat the Park Avenue, and I didn't have to use my Super Air Off-Roader, so then I could go a bit higher with the Ultra Air Volvo then in a different spot. So yes, just skipping through that one, I knew I was going to win then. Challenge number 19 now. This one is just, uh, I'm just going to go high with my off-roaders, and that's pretty much it. So using the RQ-51 Volvo and the RQ-57 GMC, the Pontiac Fiero will lose here, but just barely. I was actually quite surprised by it, uh, how little the Pontiac Fiero lost by. Like, I thought it would have been a bit more of a difference because of the 0-60 to 60 difference, but nope. Pontiac Fiero stuck right behind him. Acadia wins there by a lot of points, which was pretty much the strategy of this round. Then the Dodge Charger will also win here with 58 too. It gets some bonus points as well. And the Lacrosse wins here, which is good because I don't have the C70 T5. And then here we should also get quite a few points with our Volvo XC90 V8. Glad I kept that and maxed it out. There we go, that's the token done. And now it is time to get our carbon fiber pack. So, just gotta put all the cars in the spots. The Cadillac CTS now just needs one more upgrade in handling and it'll be maxed out, but I ran out of cash. And yeah just using a bunch of cars that I had to upgrade for the challenge and it's just adding more cars to the collection. The fully upgraded car collection is continuing to grow along with that Volvo 960 which will be one of the newest assets to the collection. So Audi Quattro winning right there and then we've got right here the Dodge Charger will win the one mile drag maybe even get some bonus points too. Yeah 90 wow that's actually quite a few bonus points and right here the Cadillac CTS wins against the Honda Civic Si. And that's that. Time to open our carbon fiber pack now. Really, I mean, any of the epics would be cool. Legendary would be amazing because I want all three of them. Ultra Rare, the Subaru would be really cool. So let's see though. Honda, ooh, and, oh, yes! There we go, Cadillac CT6. It's a duplicate, but it's a great duplicate, which is what makes it really funny because that's actually a good one. Let's also check out the third challenge too. Oh, we get a ceramic pack, which is nice, and a carbon fiber too, but yeah. 20 to 75 RQ, so it doesn't look that specific on what cars we can use. Just looks like another low RQ round. But there we go. Second Cadillac CT6. That's really cool. And that's going to be concluding it for this video. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that cool stuff. I'm Yellowfin. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.